All right, precalculus concept 31C is the last two sum and difference formulas. Uh, we saw two for sine, two for cosine, and these two are for tangent. Uh, you want to add these to your toolkit sheet. Tangent of alpha plus beta has a specific formula. Tangent of alpha minus beta has a specific formula. All right, let's look at an example. Um, find the exact value of the tangent in the difference of these two angles. Uh, pulling my formula out, um, I'm going to have the tangent of 4 pi over 3 minus the tangent of pi over 4 divided by 1 plus the product of these two tangents. Tangent of 4 pi over 3 times tangent of pi over 4. Um, I should note each one of these individually. Uh, I may need to resort to my unit circle to work all these out. Um, 4 pi over 3, if I think about the location of that, is going to be in the second quadrant. Uh, the coordinates at that point um, end up being negative 1 half and the square root of 3 over 2. When I talk about the tangent, it's going to be the sine, which is the y-coordinate, over the cosine, which is the x-coordinate. Um, put all that together and you should get negative root 3. So there's a little bit of work there. You can see how important our unit circle um, stuff from last chapter is. Okay, pi over 4 is a little bit easier because the sine and the cosine are the same and this so the tangent is 1. That's one you should be able to get pretty quick. And then on the bottom I'm going to have 1 plus um, the same two values, negative root 3, but this time I'm multiplying them times 1. Okay, so your final answer is going to be negative root 3 minus 1, all over 1 minus root 3. And we may talk a little bit in class about simplifying that. Um, for now, I'm just going to leave our answer like that, but there is a way to, to uh, rationalize the denominator. You know what? I'll, I'll show you that right now. So if you have a square root in the bottom and it's not a single square root, we actually talked about this, um, we can use the conjugate, right? So I'm going to multiply 1 plus root 3 top and bottom. Good review, actually, of rationalizing the denominator. Um, so when I do that, um, on top I'm going to have to FOIL. So I'm going to have negative root 3 minus 1 minus root 3 times root 3, which is 3, and then minus root 3 and then all of that is going to be over. Uh, when I fall on the bottom, I'm going to get 1 minus root 3 plus root 3, and then minus root 3 times root 3, which is 3. And you should notice that those cancel. And on the top, I'm going to end up with a negative 4 minus 2 root 3 um, divided by negative 4. Um, a 2 goes into all of those. So I'm going to factor out, uh, let's factor out a negative 2. That leaves me with 2 plus root 3 over negative 4. And when I cancel, I'm left with a positive 2 on the bottom. And a good final, final answer for this one, let me put it up here, would be 2 plus root 3 over 2. Okay, so uh, that's the idea. Um, basically... I can now figure out the exact value of a tangent of a sum or a tangent of a difference. Okay, you guys try this one. Pull out your formula sheet, use the formulas for tangent of the sum of two angles and your unit circles, and see if you can answer this question. All right, this is a pretty tough one. If we got the correct answer, congratulations. Uh, if you didn't, I would imagine that it's one of a few things. Um, you have to be able to figure out the tangent of pi of pi over 6, sorry, pi over 6, uh, which requires some good knowledge of your unit circle values. And then you have to be able to simplify this answer and rationalize the denominator. And uh, there's a couple steps there that you see that are a little bit tricky. Um, take a moment if you miss this one and uh, write a sentence or two about the thing that you had difficulty with. Uh, if you give us a good description there of what you feel like you need to practice, uh, we'll give you credit for uh, this problem even if you missed it.